हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी अ प्रॉब्लम वन वन नाइन जीरो रिवर्स सबस्ट्रिंग्स बिटवीन ईच पेयर ऑफ प्रेंडिसीज द पैटर्न विल बी अ बिट डिफरेंट बिकॉज माय टैबलेट इज नॉट सिंकिंग अप सो आई कैन नॉट जस्ट मेक न्यू नोट्स आई हैव टू सम हाउ अपेंट एन एक्जिस्टिंग वंस देर इज सम मार फंक्शन आई डोंट नो वॉट सो इट सिंपली सीज दैट यू आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ लोअर केस इंग्लिश लेटर्स एंड ब्रैकेट्स ब्रैकेट्स आर जस्ट दीज वंस right these ones now you have to reverse the strings in pair of matching parentheses starting from the innermost one and then return the final string as the answer without any brackets so it simply means that you will start with the innermost you start with the innermost bracket reverse it it will become a co then put it as it is then start go with the outermost bracket again as i said put it as it is reversed is put as it is then reverse this entire string again this will become a o c t e again i have put the brackets here but they will not be here now put it as it is this string as you can see o c t e is as it is now this entire string as you can see there was a bracket outside also so this entire string also should be reversed so i will reverse this also the entire string it will become a l e again all the brackets now will be gone it will become l e t c o d now when this is the case uh, you very easily know that what ha what's happening is for every corresponding opening bracket i am looking for a corresponding closing bracket and whatsoever is a string there i am reversing that string and i am going on in the order that firstly the inner string or inner opening closing bracket should be solved so how we can solve it whenever we are dealing with brackets we know one thing for sure that we can use stack just to figure out for a corresponding opening bracket what is the corresponding closing bracket so what i will do i will just simply try and use stack just so that for a opening bracket i would know that this is the corresponding closing bracket and then i will grab the string in between reverse it push back to my stack how i will do it okay firstly opening bracket then a e then a d then again a opening bracket then i e. again i can only take an action when i receive a corresponding closing bracket so so far no action okay put a t then a opening bracket then uh then uh o then uh c then i received a closing bracket this closing bracket indicates that oh i i can now form one opening closing pair which means everything between the current closing bracket which is not yet inserted into my stack to the top most opening bracket i should get it out i should get it out which means i will get my c out then i'll get my o out as you can see when we get something from the, something out from the stack we get it from the top so i got c out and then i i got o out now put them as the reverse order in the stack when we pushed in oc we pushed in oc you have to reverse it which means i have to put it in this order which means let's say it is a temp string in which i just appended a character so i should put that temp string as c and then o but make sure to remove this opening bracket because the corresponding closing bracket action of reversal has been done now so i remove that opening bracket okay so this is the string which i inserted back to my stack again i received another op closing bracket which means there will be another opening bracket which i have to take out as a string reverse it and put it back to a stack so i will get things out i will get o out then i'll get c out then i'll get t out then i'll get e out when this i have got out i have to simply push reverse thing and as you can see reverse thing is actually should be o c t e so o c t which means from o i should put it back so i'll put it back o i'll put back c i'll put back t i'll put back e so you see that the stack behavior as i was getting things out i was putting it here 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 but i'm when i'm pushing things out i'm not pushing from the back of my string temp i'm pushing from the start of the string temp which is making things reversing automatically okay and you know that corresponding opening bracket is also gone now again uh, push a e okay i push a e i push a l and then ultimately i received a closing bracket which means i will have corresponding opening bracket which i should remove so i'll get everything out i'll get this l e l e e t e, c o sorry d e okay yeah d e 
and then the open bracket is gone so everything here will be gone from my stack now if this is gone okay although one thing is you can re re like return this answer as it is but as we know that we also can have more such opening closing brackets afterwards so do one thing repeat the same process put things back to a stack so l e e t c o t e this will be put back to your stack when this put back to your stack okay you know that your string has ended so your stack will contain everything in the order but you know if you take out from the stack you will take out as e d o c t e e l but the answer is again this is the answer which you have taken out, out from the stack but the answer is actually the reverse order which is l e e t c o d e so this is the entire process just keep on inserting your opening bracket and your characters into your stack whenever you receive the open whenever you receive a closing bracket simply take the characters out in the form of a temp and push that temp characters back to your stack but starting from the initial index zero of your temp and then ultimately when your entire string s is done your stack will have your final answer so when you will get the answer you will look it it looks something like this just do a simple reverse operation so as to get your final answer cool let's see the code it's exactly same as what we discussed if i receive a opening bracket simply push it in the stack if i receive a character except from the closing bracket again push it in the stack but if i receive a closing bracket then i should make a temp string in which i should keep on removing the characters until i receive a opening bracket which means i will grab the top character which is a non bracket character and then put it in my temp string and ultimately this string dot sorry stack dot pop is just a saying that that opening character which also is in my stack that also should be removed because right now i am at a corresponding closing bracket now when this is done it is your responsibility to put your temp characters back to your stack and when you're putting it back they're automatically getting reversed because of how you pull and push to a stack now ultimately when this is done your stack will have your final answer so you just empty your stack and then grab everything from the top of the stack and put it in your answer string ultimately you know that the answer needs to be reversed to get the actual final string and ultimately this is your answer now what is the time complexity for this as you can simply see that at every step we are taking this reversing it we are taking then entire string again then reversing it then entire string again then reversing it so in worst case what could have happened take a string of size 2 reverse it then of size 4 reverse it size 6 reverse it size 8 reverse it size 10 reverse it so basically this will be taking a string of size n and reversing it reversing a string of size n will be a o of n operation n o of n one other string o of n other string o of n other string o of n so it will be roughly o of n square for time if we use the strategy of stack space used will be o of n itself because we are just using one stack only now can we improvise it is the question now when we start thinking of improvisation so the question is that okay we had this uh, string ultimately a step happened in which a step happened in which this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened ultimately this was the final answer again ignore the brackets uh, right now because as you will keep on refining your inner brackets they will be detached or they will be gone away but i have put them just so as you can think of what happened in the very beginning you started from index zero but then you knew ultimately that we have a final bracket because again you start from the index zero you 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 you, you saw there's a bracket if you see there's a bracket obviously that thing will be reversed and then also see that as we saw it's a bracket so this thing will be reversed which means that technically i should start from the opposite end of that bracket because ultimately things are reversing so it makes sense to start from the opposite end so i directly jump on to the opposite end and then start traversing as you can see i start traversing l e okay i will start traversing and i will say l e but then as i am traversing i will receive another closing bracket which again says because this also this also should be reversed so directly jump on to its opposite bracket so i will jump on to its opposite bracket now if i jump on here now you might ask aryan uh, how should i traverse now i shall traverse backward or i should travel like forward like that's a question although if that's a question then you can also see that you have to go and traverse inwards you have to go and traverse inwards so if whenever because see this is right now the bracket bracket we are always going inside the bracket so if 
I was starting to traverse like this. I went on here and I started traverse inwards inside my stream. So if I came here, I will again try to traverse inwards. So I will traverse inwards and I will put ET. Okay, I have put ET. Then again I received a again I received a bracket. So go to its corresponding opposite bracket. So I'll go to its corresponding opposite bracket. So I will reach at here. Now again traverse inwards. So I will again traverse inwards. So I will do a CO. As you can see, I traversed a CO. But then as you will land on here, you realize, oh Aryan, uh, again I received opening bracket. Oh, I am I am at a dead end. No, you are not. So what will happen? If you realize, if you keep on repeating the process which you had been doing so far, you will reach on somewhere. Let's see how. So we are at this opening bracket. Again, we will try to go its corresponding closing bracket. So if we are at here, we will go to its corresponding closing bracket. But now the sign up because the because now I should go outwards. I should go outwards or I should go in the opposite direction. As you see, every time I change the bracket or I go on to the other bracket, I am changing the direction. So here also, when I was at this opening bracket, I, I went on to this opening bracket of index 9. I will change the direction. I change the direction. As I change the direction, I will go on to the index 10. If I go on to, on to the index 10, I will again, because this is a closing bracket, go to its corresponding opening bracket. So I'll go in the corresponding opening bracket. Again, as, as I was traversing right side here, as I land on to this, I will traverse left side. I will traverse left side. As I'm traversing left side now, I received a D. Okay, I received a D. And then I received a E. Okay, I received a E. And then as O, again I received a, again I received a opening bracket. So go to its corresponding closing bracket again. Go to its corresponding closing bracket again. And then as you are traversing left now, now go and traverse right now. I'll go and simply traverse right now and then ultimately as I go on traverse right I have reached the end of the string and thus this is my answer. So you realized that how we saw that we ultimately have to go inside the string. So we started off with this index. We have we know that we have to reverse it which means we have to go to its opposite index and then start traversing inwards from there. So then we went inwards. Then we realized one more specific bracket. Then we went on to its opposite bracket and then traversing inwards. And when we say inwards, it is always okay. If you're traversing inwards like this, opposite bracket, you have to traverse in the opposite direction. So direction every time on the bracket change, direction is also reversing. And that helped us to get the answer. Now, this is simply how you could achieve it in O of n time because we are going on to all the characters just once just once and I'm saying all the characters I mean all these lower case English alphabets I'm just going only once on these brackets at max I'm going twice so complexity will be O of n but how to achieve the code simply what all do we require we simply require one very basic thing for a specific opening bracket what is the index of the corresponding closing bracket I need to jump at that index in O of one time how I can do that I know stack is the champion in this so i will use my stack just so as to maintain just to ask so as to maintain that okay let's say i'm number the next 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then 8 9 10 11 12 and then 13 so i will put it here that for a specific opening bracket at the index 0 it's corresponding again its opposite bracket is at index 13 and at index 13, I will say it's it's corresponding opposite bracket is at index 0. This will help me to jump at a specific index as fast as possible. And how I will I, and for this index at 3, I know it's its corresponding is at 10. So this will be 10. And for 10, it will be 3. Based on here, it will be 3. And same way for 6, it will be 9. And for 9, it will be 6. So this is how again, rest you can just put it minus 1 or infinity, anything you want. But this is how your actual array of opposite indexes will look like now why this is required and again okay, why this is required you know it very well but how you will make it is by simply using your stack you will simply take a stack named open index in which i'll push in zero then okay i'll not push in any lowercase english alphabets i'll only push in open indexes then i'll push in three then again i will push in six then i will be at a closing index nine 
So at index 9, I know its corresponding open index is at index 6. So I will know that okay, 9 is the corresponding closing index. The corresponding opening index is 6. So for 6, the value is 9. For index 9, the value is 6. Just populate it here. Okay, and then remove them. Then again, I received a closing bracket at, at, at index 10. So I know for index 3, the value will be 10. For index 10, the value will be 3. Again, remove them. And again, uh, remove, like ignore locus alphabets. And then for final closing bracket, which is at index 13, I know its corresponding value is at 13 and 13 corresponding value is 0. And then remove it. So ultimately, you have built your opposite index array. When this opposite index array is built, now you are good to go. Simply write a simple for loop in which your initial index is 0. So I will simply start iterating by saying i, and I equal to 0, i is less than n and i plus plus. Usually this is how we do. But we realize we have to also monitor the direction. And as every time my bracket changes, my direction also needs to change. So basically this i should go on on the direction basis. Initially, I will say that I will say the direction is let's say one, which means I'm going only forward. Direction one says I should go forward, minus one says I should go backwards. So this is okay. Let's say in the very beginning forward, I am at a specific index zero. So I will check if that specific index is an opening bracket or it's a closing bracket, or if SOFI is a closing bracket. If that is the case, then I should reverse the direction. So I should directly make sure that I should reverse the direction. And when I say reverse it, I should move my index to its opposite index first. So I will say that I should move to opposite index of I. Now I have moved to the, I have moved to the opposite index of I. Now when I have moved here, my direction also should be reserved, like reversed. So direction. When I say reverse, just simply neg neg negate the direction. So multiply it direction equal to direction into minus one. Now your direction has become minus one. So technically you are at this index. So next time, next time your I should land on to technically 12. So make sure that your I is impacted by direction. So how I will do that? I will move my I on the basis of my direction itself. So if the, if, the, if the direction is plus one, go to the next forward element. If the direction is minus one, go to the backward element. So this is how I can do and move my index i on the basis of my direction. So what will happen when the direction has become minus one here, minus one here, i, i will be, i will be 13 at this point because i was zero. i was zero here. As it comes here, i will become 13 uh, and the direction will become minus one. When this portion is done, if, if loop is done, it will go to this i minus i plus i plus is equals to minus one, which means 13 plus is equal to minus one. So i will become 12. It is less than n. Yes, it is less than n. So i has now become 12. Oh, l. So again, any other character which is not a open or closing bracket, I should simply push back in my answer and say this is s equals to answer of i. And ultimately, it will keep on repeating. Next time, I will become 11. Next time, I will become 10. As I will become 10, it will come here. I has become 10. So I will be opposite index of I. For index 10, opposite was a 3. So I will now become a 3. Direction will now become positive. So direction will become a plus 1. So I will, from here, I will go to index 3. It will now become positive. And it, it will be a plus 1. So when it will come here, 3 plus is equals to 1 will be, will be equal to 4. So I will land onto index 4. And thus I can keep on repeating the process. And this is your only thing which is your final answer. Cool. Let's see the code. It's exactly the same as what we discussed right now. First operation is just making your actual opposite index array. For that I will take use of my actual stack itself. How I will use it? I will simply go on to my indexes. If it's an opening bracket, simply push it. If it's a closing bracket, simply check the corresponding top because that will be the corresponding opening bracket. Just make the actual pair of opposite indexes. Now when opposite in indexes are ready, simply iterate on, on the indexes. If it's an opening or closing bracket, simply reverse the index or basically go on to the opposite index and also reverse the direction. If, if it's a lo normal lowercase alphabet, simply append that in your answer. And with this strategy, you will be able to achieve this in a time of O of N and in a space of O of N because of using stack. Cool. I hope you guys got it. Again, there's a name which they have given to it. I forgot the name. I'll put it in the title for the video, but they have given a name of the algorithm. But you know that the name is not required. The actual essence is 
just going on to the opposite index because you are about to reverse something. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. I hope you guys got it. If yes, then two smart like button.